Council's 15 uh, by 15 uh, seemed to be a daunting task uh, when we first set it up. However, when you look at the production from last year, suddenly that uh, task said, well, maybe our horizon or our uh, goal wasn't high enough. But then when you look at this season and you look at the commodity prices uh, drop significantly, you look at the uh, the uh, season that's uh, unfolded has been a very difficult season this year. Once again, this task becomes uh, and appears to be quite uh, daunting. 2015 sounds like a number that's far away, but in breeding terms, it's not too far away. And so we're going to have to, as an industry, do quite a lot of things between now and then to be able to achieve uh, that goal. Is it achievable? I think it is for a few reasons. Uh, the commodity price obviously has to stay strong. Um, the spread between canola and cereals needs to remain there, i.e. canola needs to be more profitable. And one way that canola can be more profitable, I believe, is if we can get more production out of it. And especially in those marginal acres where producers are switching or swinging from whether it's going to be cereals this year or whether it's going to be canola, we need to give the growers the opportunity to be a little bit more confident in their decision to grow canola. And if I look at 2015, uh, and I look at some of the pipeline products uh, that will come out roughly in that period of 2012 to 2020, that kind of gives me a bit of confidence uh, in the ability to provide growers with products that they will say, yes, I think I can do it, and I think I can grow it, and I think I can make a profit out of it. So my hope is uh, built on the fact that, yes, we can produce uh, additional uh, technologies and traits during that period. So 2015 suddenly becomes doable.